for this next stoichiometry problem that we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking at a double displacement reaction between sodium sulfate and silver nitrate. So first thing we need to do is figure out what the products of that reaction would be. So the sodium part is going to combine with the nitrate portion. Na is plus 1, nitrate's minus 1, so that would make NaNO3. Then we're going to have the silver combined with the sulfate. Now silver's plus 1 and sulfate's minus 2, so that would make Ag2SO4. Then we need to balance this guy overall. We've got two sodiums on the left and only one on the right, so we'd need a big 2 here. That would give us two nitrates, so we need two nitrates on the left. Put a big 2 there. Now we have two silvers, but that's okay because we have two silvers on this side as well. So these guys must be ones. Now that we have that part down, now we're going to look at the numbers that we were given in this problem. We've got 500 milliliters of sodium sulfate. Then they also gave us the density of that sodium sulfate. And we want to get to moles of sodium nitrate and moles of silver sulfate. So this is a two-part problem. Now when deciding which number should I start with, the 500 milliliters or this density here, you're always going to start with a simpler unit. So since this guy's just milliliters and this guy's grams per milliliter, we're going to want to start with the 500 milliliters. It's just a little bit easier. So 500 milliliters of that sodium sulfate. We want those milliliters to cancel out and go away. Now, we're trying to get our substance into moles, right? That's what the flow chart says to do, get it into moles. Now, you can't use 22.4 in this problem because 22.4 only works for gases that are at STP. And sodium sulfate isn't a gas. That's an aqueous solution. So we can't use 22.4. We have to get it into moles some other way. So the some other way that we know of is to use the density that's provided. In order to get those milliliters to cancel out, we could put the milliliters part of this guy on the bottom, and then the 2.680 grams can go on the top. Now we're in territory that we're a little bit more familiar with, getting grams into moles. Well, the way we get our grams into moles is by using the molar mass here on the periodic table. So we would have to add up two sodiums, a sulfur, and four oxygens. When you do that, if you add up all the pieces, you get a molar mass for that sodium sulfate of 142.1 grams. And I'm going to put that on the bottom so that way my grams and grams can cancel out and put the mole part of my conversion factor up on the top. Now let's see what where I'm going to go next. So we're here. We made it to moles of my original substance. Now I need to get to moles of the substance that it wants me to get to using my balanced equation. Well, this problem was a two-parter. It wanted both moles of sodium nitrate and moles of silver sulfate formed. So let's focus on the sodium nitrate first. If you're looking at the sodium nitrate reaction, that part of the reaction, uh, we're going to look at the mole-to-mole -mole ratio between sodium sulfate and sodium nitrate. It's a 1 to 2 ratio. Because I want my sodium sulfate to cancel out and go away, I'm going to put that 1 on the bottom. And the 2 is going to go on the top. Now usually when you're doing a stoichiometry problem, it tells you it's a four-step process that you need to get those moles into some kind of particles, liters, or grams. But this particular problem only wanted us to go to moles, and we're there. So we can stop. We've hit the end of the problem. Now we just multiply across and find out how many moles that would be. And you would get 18.86. Now.
Now, the second part of this problem wanted you to figure out moles of silver sulfate. But really, you still have the same given. The way you would get that given into moles isn't going to change. The only thing that's going to change is this last step here, where you're comparing it to the different chemical. So it's going to look identical to that top one. We'd still have that 500 milliliters. And we're still going to use the density to get our milliliters into grams. Then we'd still use that molar mass to get our grams into moles. The only thing that's changing is what we're comparing it to at the end. So instead of comparing sodium sulfate to sodium nitrate, Part two of this guy wanted how many moles of silver sulfate are formed. So here's your silver sulfate. This time, it's a one to one ratio. And yes, you still need to show it, even if it's a one to one. So we'd say one mole of Na2SO4 on the bottom for every one mole of Ag2SO4 on the top. So because the same beginning and it's just a one to one instead of a two to one, this guy's going to be half as big. 9.430 moles of Ag2SO4.